Alright, so I began separating some parts and here's the parts that represent the torso and here's the parts that represent the arm. Let's move on to this torso first before we go on to that one. Um, started to clean up some parts. The waist un the um, part that's on the upper part of the waist um, didn't have to sand too much because it's going to be covered up by this and I wanted to show this first. Didn't want to chip these off now. I want to chip it off later after I apply this because I want to put a little bit of glue just a little not too much before I can so I can hold this into place I was actually thinking since this is already um, panel lined, I don't have to worry. I mean, not panel lined, uh, part of the lining. Oh, I almost forgot about that part. Um, let's see if I can get it out first. All right, we're going to have to do this again. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, so it's working on the uh, torso. And I have, of course, parts of the arm there which we'll cover um, we'll talk about in a few moments I wanted to show some of the parts here that I'm want to remove here remove a tad off there we go and then using sanding stick this is 400 grit Want to get, want to get it. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. That way, it's nice and evenly flat. This is starting to wear out. This sanding stick is actually one of my favorite ones, and I got this at Hobby Link Japan. Um, I think I'm gonna have to order a new set, or at least something equivalent to it. I had a, I had another one that was really great, but I can't find it anymore. Must have lost it. Or well, maybe it's in one of uh, like thousands of boxes that I have in here. Let's just do one more. There we go. Let's see how it looks. It's a little bit of a um, seam line there, but I'm going to clean it up soon. I'll give it some more passing later on. I don't know about the sides, but then again it's going to be covered up with armor and all that stuff, so. And then we have this part here, which I'm going to put right there. This one I'm not going to go all the way. I'm not going to put glue on it. I want to pull it out later on so I can paint it separate. Um, same holds true with this one. I don't know. Yeah, if it goes there, it doesn't... I don't think that's a problem to taking it out. This part here has these little... Um, parts that I cut off from the from the collar and I was going to sand it down but then I said you know what it, it actually fits into place right here so I don't have to worry about it can't believe how simple the torso is pretty simple it is yeah I like it pretty good well, that pretty much completes that I'm going to put this to the side let's work on this um, this arm because I want to tackle a few things here and there I want to see how the arm is, and forgive me, I thought I had all the parts here. How the arm will look um, during completion, and give it to see how it looks like with the um, with the remaining uh, parts that I, I was thinking of customizing. Uh, let's see here, PC thirteen, there it is, and PC one. There we go. So this thirteen goes there. Then we have the shoulder part, and it goes here, and then, ooh, then we need that one, give me that, put, one, put that through there, there and P13 
PC one here. And let's close this up. I'm not going to put glue on this because I'm going to have to review it to see if I have to sand it down. There's parts here that needs to be sanded. Just want to give it an overall look. Since this is the, we'll put this part here. I was going to say something, but sorry. <laughs> so this one goes there. I thought this was going to be a unique cover here or something that will cover up this poly cap, but we'll figure it out soon enough. All right, so that completes that. Then we have this part here, which is for the um, connection of the arm. So that goes like that. Let me just send off. Actually, let's do this first. That. Even that out. I have nothing here other than this part that's going to be inside the peg. So good. This little separation here. It looks like it's part of the design, so I don't have to worry about uh, painting it, or or not painting it. Excuse me, uh, putting glue on it. Um, that one goes like that, and then that goes like this, and then that goes like that. Okay. Then going back to this. We need not a good idea doing that way. A lot of interesting things could happen if I did. All right, so with this part like that, we have the poly cap going this way. this, then this part goes here, like so, alright, so as you can see there's a nice little seam line here, which I should have, you know what, I am going to do it, let me apply glue, I'm going to take it off and put it back together, but it's going to be a pain in the ass, so let's do it right now. There we go. Alright, so I just have to apply a tremendous amount of pressure so it will bleed out. And hold it in for like about a good 15 seconds. I wish I could probably use my um, one of my clippers, um, the rubber parts of the clippers, but it's too small. I wish there was a better way of clamping it down. I, well, I do have one, but I'm afraid to damage the part. There we go. I am going to apply a little glue here because once it dries, I will begin sanding. But I want to at least get the overall look to this so we can see how it looks. Alright, so that's done. We put that here, followed by this one, then this, and then lastly, that. Alright, so here's what the arm looks like. Here's the other arm as well, and I, I put on the hand here to see how it is and I wanted to test this hand with this with the Gatling gun to see how 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 it feels there's just one little problem it appears that this hand is not meant to hold this 
at all. That doesn't seem to be a problem for me because I could probably put a layer of plow plate to give it a little bit more thickness. But the reasons why I did this is because I also want to test out how it look once I cut this part. So, first things first, I didn't like how this looks on its own. So I decided to pull the um, this part here, which at first I was going to say nay. But after reviewing it, I said, okay, maybe maybe it is necessary. So I have to put these two parts on. It's also great to covering up seam lines if you've done a lot of work and then, you know, you don't want all your seam lines to be shown. So I thought it was actually goes under. That was my mistake. But again, the whole intention is to put the, the Gatling gun here and then put the, uh, you know, plate here cut this off to support it here and then do that so it will look like it's holding it under and I'll be doing that on both arms that I'll work on soon enough as for this part I decided to finish up the um, build of this um, you know of the railgun assembly the need still need to be sanded down um, I may apply plot plate or something, I have no idea. I also put some putty here at the ends, which doesn't look right. I'm, I'm going to take it out and maybe resand it down again. I don't know. But anyway, if I put this here to show off what, I what was my intention, here's the overall look. Like that. So it would look like this. And even though this thing does not have the barrel, I'm actually considering of using the long range barrel so it would look like that what do you think actually it's a we might as well do this yeah so that would be the overall look of how the custom would look on this kit hmm. what do you guys think thinking of maybe and also, there was a possibility that maybe I can put the Gatling guns here on the side and add it as an attachment to the forearm grip. But I think that's a little dumb. I kind of like the original idea because then you have this sticking out after I cut it off and then you have this hole here. So everything will be like under under here. So it's easy for to maneuver and, and manipulate. And of course, I can still remove the Gatling gun and put in another weapon if I feel like it. All right. I think this is uh, starting to look good. Let me just continue cleaning up and testing ideas. And see where we go from here, okay? <laughs> now the leg part is very nice. I kind of like how it is. The setup and all. Um, the one thing that, well, other than this popping out every now and then, which is going to annoy me every now and then, is the seam line that's on on the leading edges here and here it's offset it's not even in the middle we could have easily gotten away with it if Bandai did a middle line right there and then maybe I could have created a um, what do you call it a, not a seam line but more of a panel line but to do it offside is a little difficult to do that so I ended up putting a little bit of glue let me remove this part first that one's tough um, put a little bit of glue on it and bleed it out here and there and then I'm going to sand it down so it could be flush this is the only minor issue that I've been that, that kind of bugged me a bit these parts can be easily removed and patented separate so I don't have to worry about it um, you know masking off the knee joints or stuff like that as well as uh, the parts here of the foot can be removed and painted separate but yeah, this is actually pretty good. And for this part, uh, let me, let me get this comes with this that goes there. But I want to know if I can actually put the missile pack that is on the Phantom. Let's remove these. I'll leave a little bit of flash there so I can clean it up. Can I put it here? Let's see. 
goes in an angle. Yeah. Or unless, of course... Alright. Here's an idea. I can probably cut this notch there to the top, leaving a little notch here. Then, put it in all the way. Gluing it, of course. And that way you have a missile pack system. Um, maybe a good idea. Oh, you know what? Fair enough, we could do it this way. Because there's a gap here, which originally was for the beam uh, sabers. So, yeah, we can do that here. Maybe it's... Um, Maybe it's a little lame. Maybe it'll be a good idea to put some sort of structure on it. Let me see what I can find and see if I can do that with this. So I can have some some knee uh, some knee missile launchers there. And speaking of modifications, I want to show off the final results of the Gatling guns. Here's what it looks like. Now, I was going to play a game called Guess This Part, but I'll tell you anyway. You guys are probably not even aware of it. This is actually a part that I yanked off from my core booster, Master Grade core booster fighter for the, uh, for the uh, Victory Gundam, which I never, uh, never built for. And I'm just going to be using it for parts. I'm not going to build that uh, Master Grade game, but I like to use it for parts for other kits. And, again, I was looking to put something here, but something in... In, you know, something that will probably be aptable for this. I found some parts, but which was a little ridiculous out of the ordinary. But this one looked okay, and then I applied a, a hefty amount of glue. Um, I don't know if this will hold. I have no idea. The one thing that I am... Let me see if I can test this out. Let's put this in here. And I didn't put nothing on the on the actual handle. So it may still be wobbly, like what we saw before. Ah! I wonder if I have to, may have to get some custom hands. Yeah, this thing is going to be still wobbly. But this is what it will look like. Um, you see? It's too wobbly there. And this maybe a problem but I don't know yet I really don't know but yeah this is the idea what do you think of that pretty nice all right let me just continue looking at these parts and see what I, what else I have to clean up and we'll move on we'll move on